Gregory here to talk about the second half of August, and in particular the new moon in Virgo on August the 25th. Well, the background to this period is that we still have six planets in fixed signs. We have the Sun, Mercury, Venus and Jupiter in Leo, and we have Mars and Saturn in Scorpio. So they give us a lot of determination and tenacity to really achieve our goals. So that's fantastic. But also there's something really quite special happening on the 18th of August, it's next Monday, when Venus, planet of love, comes into conjunction with Jupiter in Leo. And this is a kind of love bliss, because Leo is very much about big heart energy, Venus, as I've said, is planet of love, and Jupiter expands everything it touches. So really enjoy that day if you're in a relationship or would like to be involved in a relationship. And then we move on to the 23rd to the 27th of August, and this is quite complex energy over this period, because from the 23rd to the 27th, Mars comes into conjunction with Saturn in Scorpio, and they're very different principles, Mars and Saturn. Mars is, is energy and enthusiasm, and Saturn is resistance. In the world, it could be anger and aggression meeting authority. So in your own lives, it could manifest either as intense frustration, intense because it's in Scorpio and frustration because you've got all this energy wanting to go somewhere but being held back by Saturn, or we could use the energy more positively and combine that symbolism to have purposeful, cautious action. That's a very good use of, of those few days. But right in the middle of those few days on the 25th, as I say, we have this new moon at 2.18 of Virgo, and hopefully this new moon will, will diffuse some of the, the more intense energies of, of Mars and Saturn. New moons are always new beginnings, and if you know your birth chart, just see where two degrees of, of Virgo falls in your chart, because that will show you the area of life where this is most likely to manifest for you. And with new moons, the few days up to the, and including the day of the new moon, which will occur exactly UK time, three o'clock, um, just after three o'clock in the afternoon, 3.12, it can be a conversation, it can be a, a meeting, it can be a phone call, it can be an opportunity, it can even just be a thought or an idea that sparks something that actually is a new beginning to something new in that area of your life. So just really watch for these as they come up every month because in, in seeing the connections, we're starting to observe patterns that underlie our life and give our lives greater meaning. And that's really what astrology is all, all about. So people who um, are born between the, the 19th to the 23rd of February, the 21st to the 25th of May, the 23rd to the 27th of August or the 22nd to the 26th of November will fill this new moon most. Now Virgo as, as a sign is all about purification. It's about giving service to others. But this new moon has a particularly spiritual quality about it. At the new moon, at every new moon, the sun and the moon are, are always together. But this time around, they're being opposed by Neptune. Now, as some of you may know, Neptune symbolism is very much about miracles and healing and unconditional love and dreams and the unconscious. It's, it's the intangible. It's really beautiful. So all of that Neptunian energy is infused into this new moon in Virgo. The second reason it's a very spiritual moon new moon is that Mercury, the planet of communication, is opposed by Chiron. Now Chiron's archetype is the wounded healer and it's very much, I've observed in clients' charts, it's about shifting level, shifting perception, it's sometimes referred to as the mystic bridge. So this is a great opportunity for us to shift our perception, shift our, our mental understanding, shift our level of energy. And the third reason it's such a spiritual new moon is because the sun and the moon are opposed by a fixed star called Fommelhout. Fommelhout is spelt F-O-M 
A U L H A U T, and it's at three degrees fifty one of Pisces. It doesn't move. It's not in orbit. It's a fixed star. And in the myth of ancient Persia and Egypt, there were four royal stars that guarded the four directions of the compass. And Formalhaut is the royal star that guards the south direction, together with Archangel Gabriel. And Formalhaut is very much known as a spiritual teacher in, in mythology as well. So for those three reasons, you know, this is a wonderful opportunity at this new moon for us to shift our energy, shift our perception, shift our state of being. And this small cycle of the moon is actually just echoing the much bigger cycle of Uranus square Pluto, which, as I've mentioned before, um, is in the heavens until March 2015. And one of the main messages of that is demanding that we break through old patterns of being to break through to the new. So I hope you found that helpful and I hope you very much enjoy the opportunities coming up with this new moon in Virgo on August 25th. Thank you.